Goddamn bathtub gin. Man's fiance walks out on him for another bloke, and you'd hope he could at least get some decent liquor. Sam Joel, expert salesman. Oh, who am I kidding? Look at me. I can't afford a ring. Oh, but Jack. Oh, Jack, yeah. He can afford to put a ring on every single one of her fingers. Hmm. That's what I'm talking about. You'll find that people are rarely what they seem. What, did your girl walk out on you too? Oh, I know a lot about heartbreak. Like how it burns inside your guts like gunfire. Your hands get cold. Your throat scratchy like your daddy's old records. You close your eyes and you see her touching his cheek as he picks her up in that fancy new car. She's wearing that dress that you bought her. I wonder, will he kiss the inside of her wrist? Will he make- Stop! Oh god, I hope Jack crashes that expensive new car of his. I hope he drives it off a cliff. I hope they rot in hell forever. And that can be arranged. Excuse me? All I need is a signature. A signature? Blood. What? Ink's not good enough for you? <laughs> now you see, I need something a little more uh, personal. You know, I don't think I caught your name, sir. You don't recognize me? A church-going pastor's son like you, Sam? Or is it Charlie? You're not going by Clarence again, are you? That name does not suit you. And neither does the honest life, it seems. You're good for one thing and one thing only, sweetheart, and that's running away from the people you owe money to. Well, your services aren't required, thanks. Why not? Drinker, gambler, card sharp, murderer. There's always mine in the end, Sam, and we both know it. So, why not get something you want out of the bargain, hmm? It's only fair. Just a signature. Cross my heart. Barman, another drink for my friend, please. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Waiting for this a long time. Russell. Samuel. I expected you years ago. Lost your trail around Louisiana, but I never stopped looking. Used to stay up at night, terrified. Someone was gonna find you before I could. Look, it was self-defense, Russell. Your brother had a knife. You stole his girl, and you killed him. Now it's my turn. Poor boy practically begged me to take his soul. 
He was looking for you in New Orleans of all places. Although I think in the end, you had the better bargain. You don't have enough time to regret the decision. Most people do. <laughs>